My name is Ana Maldonado. Um, I'm an instructor at the, the University of Massachusetts Medical School in the Department of Microbiology. Our bodies are the homes for millions of microbes that live in our skin and our gastrointestinal tract and mouth, etc. And uh, this collection of microbes uh, are very important in immunity and training our immune system. These microbes that I'm interested in live in our uh, gastrointestinal tract, our intestine besides uh, nutrient absorption also has the largest population of immune cells. And uh, these microbes can train these immune cells to distinguish between self and non-self. So it can tell our bodies to attack the invaders, the bacteria that can cause diseases, or can also uh, make signals for the gut to stay quiet because uh, we're encountering a native commensal strain that help, or bacteria strain that help us to digest food, to pro uh, produce some vitamin, etc. The microbes have a crucial role in training these immune cells for that. My research interest is understanding this crosstalk between the microbes and the human host, specifically in the gut. And what we're trying to understand also is how these microbes can help the efficacy of vaccines. In our research, what we have found, we have a potential candidate for a vaccine, so again, a bacteria that causes diarrhea. And uh, these uh, bacteria are pathogens and well, causes diarrhea in the in kids under five years old. And we, with this vaccine candidate, we have seen uh, in mice uh, uh, until now that when we eradicate the microbiome, the, this protection uh, falls down. There is no more protection when we get eradication of the microbiome. So because of all the previous research saying that it might be a relationship and we are interested in understanding which are the best case scenario, which are the microbes that this specifically candidate vaccine will need to be efficient uh, and, and to protect against in this bacteria that causes diarrhea.